Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on database. Um, this is a very short video tutorial and um, I need you to pay good attention to what we're going to do. Okay, um, this is 2017 May-June um, paper 2-1. Yeah. Um, if we go to our database, open and blank and then click on crates, we close this table and close external data text file browse for the location of the paper and um, that is it student double click to bring it in click on ok next first row contains field names advanced and then i click on what do i have to change here let's check through all right checking through all i have to change here um text 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 date text text numeric boolean okay which is the same as yes no so let's see if we have that so i have text text date text text all right the only thing to change is this one which is yes no all right is that all we have to do all right so let's click on okay and uh, what next to do was the next thing to do um we check the question again question say we should set the the row field as the the road number field as a as a primary key and save the data All right so that's what we're going to do so we go to right nest and go to nest and go to choose primary key and go to nest we're going to get an error okay close bingo there we are we had an error why did we get an error? We ignore something. What did we ignore? I'll show you in the GV. Just take your time. Now you realize that we change everything we need to change, but we left out something. This guy here. The format of the date. Okay? Because of the format of the date was not changed to suit the what the question required, and we imported without changing that, it gave us an error. So one close attention to every data when you are changing the data type. So I'm going to do the same thing again and see if we're going to get an error. So text file, browse, student, and OK. Go to next. First row contains field name. Go to next. And advanced. I go to the last part, which is Boolean, and change that to yes, no. So I change this to yes, no. And the next thing I have to do is that this here, the format. So let's check the date order. In this question, we are giving day, month, year. Day, month, year. But what do we have here? We have month, day, and year. So we have to change that to day, month, and year. Okay? And click on OK. If you don't do that, you get errors. Go to next. Choose primary key. Access will choose it for you. Go to next and finish close hola no error okay so that is it for this video tutorial but before we go on um, before we go off a quick one here now here we asked to change this here to we have to set a validation rule here and we are supposed to change it to yes and no before we save our work and click save okay so we double click on the table go to home view and come to data and design view and um, under the gender text you go all the way to validation rule and type in m or f because we're put from the question that it's supposed to be m or f so that's why we put the m or f and this needs to be yes or no and so we do the last one for paid which is boolean so we come to format and change that to yes no and that is it for this question. Pretty simple. So this part here is gender. We don't change that under format. We go to validation rule. It's, it's a rule we need to set. Access will automatically put the quotation marks on it, um, signifying as a text. Save your work and say yes. All right. So that is it for it. Um, you're going to take a screenshot, obviously, for what you've done here. Don't worry that you're going to take a screenshot of this. And take a screenshot of that okay 
So that is it for this particular video tutorial. And on this note, we come to the end of this video tutorial. I encourage you to keep practicing. And believe me, you'll be good at it. Alright, so do we meet again? Bye-bye.